Hello and welcome to Let's Replay Destroy All Humans 2. Yes, that's right, Let's Replay, because long-time viewers of my channel may remember that I originally Let's Played this game all the way back in 2011, just over five years ago. Oh my god, that's weird to think about. But um, since then, in that time, it has been re-released for the PlayStation 4, which is what I'm playing this on right now. And for many reasons, graphical reasons, ways I felt about the original Let's Play, I think it's about time we have another go. And, uh, oh no, wait, stop, 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 no, no video. Um, I think it's about time we have another shot at the Let's Play and just enjoy the game all over again. So I could keep rambling on this title screen, but let's get into the game. I'll talk more about my reasons and stuff when we actually start playing. So yeah, let's go. Premier Comrade Mielenkov, Comrade Agents, thank you for coming. Here's what we know so far. Ten years ago, the United States government covered up an invasion by an alien race known as Vurons. The primary agent was this Vuron, Cryptosporidium 137. Dangerous, unpredictable, and now, deceased. So, what has been problem? The problem, comrade, is that Furons can clone themselves and pose convincingly as human. And they've used these abilities to put Cryptosporidium 138 into the White House. <gasps> and the American people are not noticing? <laughs> no, no, right. Pull the other one. Even worse, this new crypto clone contains pure Furon DNA harvested from human brains by Orthopox 13, mastermind of the invasion. He also bears a mysterious new mutation referred to only as the package. Ooh. These aliens pose a dire threat to the Soviet Union, comrades. And so, they must be destroyed. As we speak, President Crypto is in Bay City, attending a youth cultural festival. And Orthopox? Conducting experiments in the Furon Mothership. Savages. Degenerates! There's only one way to deal with such men. What in the... Revolution! Uh-oh. That can't be good. <laughs> Greetings, comrade. Mother Russia sends her regards. You expect me to beg, human? No, little Furon. I expect you to die. Mine's big. And here we go with this explosive introduction. That guy just got incinerated. Nice. All right, where are these KGB agents? So yeah, that was a little introduction to the game right there, a brief um, overview of the original game, Destroy Humans 1. When I first let's play this game, I had no clue what that was talking about, because uh, I hadn't yet played it, but um, since then, I've now let's play both games, kind of got a better understanding of what happened to Crypto in the first game in, uh, in America, becoming president. Right, get rid of you. Come in, Crypto! Are you receiving? The mothership has been destroyed! You must come to my aid immediately! Follow the distressed beacon to my location! Okay, alright, rescue Orthopox will do. Will do. This first episode is going to be quite uh, tutorial heavy, I think. Here we go. For example, radar. Your current goals are marked on the radar as pink markers. Use your radar to find Orthopox. Okay, this way, as we dodge all the bombs and rockets and things. But yeah, just look. I'm going to be saying this the whole time in the game. Alright, I'm just going to introduce the game to the viewers. Orthopox, for goodness sake. But, um, yeah, at some point, I'm definitely going to do like a comparison where I show you my old Let's Play quality compared to this one because it's so much nicer. Now. So much nicer. Right, good, you're dead. Let's actually do the mission. 
PK, you can break open the gate using psychokinesis. Hold L1 to target a movable object. Whilst holding L1, press triangle to pick up the object. Press triangle again to throw the object at the gate. Like a so. Give me this here. In fact. Are those? Oh no, I thought there were more KGB agents. Was there a cop round here? Oh, there they are. Yeah, there they are. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, I missed one, but I got one right on the head. Let's crush you. Nice. Nice. This is why I love this game. You just do things like this. <laughs> Please say you're dead. Oh, you're not even dead. Oh, then take that. Alright, alright. He's moaning. Let's go on with it. There you go. Constricting, ain't it? Well, beggars can't be choosers. The good news is ancient Furon Lazy beacons were left here eons ago during the war with the Martians. If you can find and activate one of those beacons, you'll be able to summon your saucer. Neat trick. And then I kick a little monkey ass. Oh, what a cheap and nasty way to lower our health to show us the shields. Yeah, here you go. Shield, this bar represents your current shield strength. Your shield will recharge as long as you avoid enemy fire for a short period of time. Okie dokie, let's go talk to Ark Voodle then. Actually, before I do that, I quickly want to do that as that cutscene has reminded me. I need to go on to display, subtitles on, good, um, a little bit of maybe turn the sound effects down a smidgen. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Alright, boring stuff done. Let's carry on. So, we're heading this way. Just trying to get shot. Oh no, our health's recharged. We're fine. Out the way, please. But, um, yeah, so I'll get into a little bit about all the different reasons why I'm let's play this again and also what I want to do differently. One of them, one of the things I want to do differently is actually coming up right now as we get into our first kind of cutscene dialogue bit. There's some bad guys here. Yeah. You die. Alright, that, that missed completely. Let's just barrel you. Get barreled. Mm, get barreled. Good. Hey, Ark Voodle. Landing zones. Ark Voodle is an ancient Furon god. Ark Voodle statues mark the locations of ancient Furon landing sites. Talk to Ark Voodle and satisfy his demands to unlock landing zones. Alright, what do you want? Amuse thy languid Furon god, and stab my idol with bolts of electricity. Attend the holy syllables of the great Ark Voodle. Alright, you want a little zap, do you? Here you go. My waning joie de vivre is rekindled. Landing zone activated. Nice. Where are you? Come on. Oh, we got to call it. There you go. Oh, man. What was that? <gasps> More agents! Where's my barrel? That's it, stay in one big group so I can do that. Oh, you dodged it! Oh. Not anymore. <laughs> Talk to Pox. Alright, so yeah, um. Before I actually do that, I will say now, so one of the things that um, I got a few comments for quite a lot actually in my old Let's Play is that I skipped a lot of dialogue, and that's true, I did skip a lot of dialogue in my old Let's Play because I just figured people would want to move on to see the gameplay and stuff. Um, actually, the dialogue is, is really quite funny, and there's a lot of effort that has been made um, to make the dialogue interesting with different kind of options to choose from. So in this Let's Play at least, I'm going to try... Okay, I'll do it in a minute, game. Calm down. Uh, I'm going to try and, and do a little bit more dialogue and not skip as much and not cut as much out, alright? So, let's start that by talking to Pox. Good work getting 
a saucer here, Crypto! No sweat. It needs to be aired out every 5,000 parsecs or so. Alright, so yeah, this is, um... One of the cool things about this game is that it does have a sort of... Uh tree of, of dialogue choices which is nice let's um let's pester pox for some heavy weapons i need to bring in some big guns uh, nowhere i can get my hands on some i did manage to jettison some data cores before the mothership was hit you might be able to recover some weapons from them if you can find any but it certainly won't be easy okay so where are the data cores that's just it! They could have entered the atmosphere at any time, in any place, and therefore landed anywhere on the planet. I've managed to locate only one. It was ejected after my holopox unit, so it landed quite nearby. Okie dokie, um, let's see. Quiz pox on data cores. Give lame excuse for not bringing guns. That sounds like crypto. Uh, get the saucer ready or leave. Let's... Let's moan. I didn't bring any with me. Figured uh, heavy artillery ain't exactly the smoothest way to charm the jeans off a pacifist hippie chick. Oh, I knew it! I knew your unnatural interest in humans would bring us nothing but trouble! Whoa, 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 you're harsh in my buzz. Mellow out, Poxy. Easy for you to say. You weren't blown to pieces just seconds before restoring your own genitalia. Oh God. I forgot how much this game has to do with the package, yeah, and the fact that the Furons now have uh, genitals. Very nice. Okay. Um, <laughs> right, what about this data core? What's a data core? You never studied, did you? A data core is a device used for storing weapons or other Furon technology. The outer casing is extremely dense and should have easily survived the fall to Earth. The only real trick will be finding them. Yeah, we'll be finding uh, data cores across the whole of the game, unlocking weapons as we go. Some of them, some of them are okay. Some of them are really quite good. All right, uh, let's get the saucer ready. So let's get flying, huh? I'm itching for some serious payback. Not so fast, my ultraviolet minion. My scan of the engine core has revealed some critical damage. It appears the saucer took a hit, or twelve, on the way here. No, 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 don't say it. I'm afraid we can't possibly take off until the engine is repaired. Ah, oh, man. All right, only one thing left to do then. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but scout the area and find that data core. All right, so retrieve the data data core. Oh, and let me just say, very, let's make this very clear in episode one of this Let's Replay. Yes, Orthopox is voiced by Richard Stephen Horvitz, who also voiced Invader Zim. That's where you recognise the voice from, Invader Zim. Same actor, yeah. All right, very good. We'll get that cleared up out of the way. Um, let's head towards the data core. Actually, on the way there, I'll show off these. Look at these green flashy things hidden away. Let's grab one. Furotech cell collected. You have recovered a Furotech cell. Furotech cells are used to upgrade weapons at Poxmart. Oh, I thought there'd be more. Um, uh, uh, fine, I'll finish it off for you, game. But they're also given as rewards for completing missions as well. So, is this unlocked yet? Poxmart is not unlocked, so we can't look at that quite yet. Maybe in a little bit. Um, let's go get its data core first. And we are very fortunate. It's literally right there. What are the chances? On your radar. Okay. Oh, now we've. Oh, finally. Jetpack. You can use your jetpack to boost onto rooftops and move quickly around the world. Hold X to jet into the air. Keep holding X to glide down to the ground. Oh, what a waste of that barrel. Um, yeah, I, I haven't really been using it because I haven't been able to at the moment, but now we've finally unlocked a little bit of a jetpack. Not a massive one, kind of a little burst. But a jetpack is one of the things that you can upgrade using the um, Furotech cells that I just showed off. So we'll do that. I think jetpack is probably one of the best ones you can upgrade quickly in the game. 
because it just helps with so many things like getting away, escaping, or finding more Furotex cells on top of buildings. Like, is there one over there? Can you just about see that one? Oh, there's one up there. Okay, let's head up here. Grab the data core. Do a little bit of uh, alien parkour. Jetpack parkour. Do you know what? Let's just do this. Get away. And yoink. Data core collected. Dislocator data core retrieved. Dislocator. Ah, oh, so we we have our first unlocked weapon. Oh, this is a fun one. Hold square and move the left analog stick down to select dislocator. Press R1 to fire your dislocator. When a disc has finished flying, it will reappear inside the dislocator. I don't understand it. We blew that alien spacecraft out of the sky, and yet the shriveled geriatric one somehow survived. The Shopas must be harder to kill than we thought. I spit on them! Nonetheless, inform the Kremlin we shall proceed with the operation as planned. Tell them we need as much revelate as they can ship, as quickly as they can ship it. Da, Agent Orincho. And our American distributor? He suspects nothing. In fact, he seemed quite enthusiastic about the whole idea. He thinks he'll be spreading revolution in a paper cup. And so he will. But not, I think, the sort he expects. Idealists. They spit on them! Stalin. He understood. Ideas may start revolutions, but guns and gulags finish them. Well, no matter. Soon the citizens of Bay City will be embarking on a very bad trip. <laughs> Oh, mission complete, there you go. Did you just see that subtitle then? Uh, join Schadenfreude Laughter. That's so good. Um, Alright, let's quickly save our game. Oh, man. <laughs> Stuff like that, like, that would not have come up unless you had subtitles on. What a nice little thing that is. Okay, so you go. Um, first data core retrieved. Uh, nasty little cutscene with the Russians. Oh, what? Oh, no, I just got screwed over by a hitbox there. I wanted to jump off and get onto this building. There we go. Okay, there you go. Um, See, so yeah, we didn't get any Furotex cells for that one, I guess because it is the tutorial, pretty much. But, yeah, later missions we will get Furotex cells and bonus kind of side missions. Loads of stuff we get for. Can I make this jump? Yes, I can, quite easily. And look at that, Poxmart. Okay, so we're in this episode by looking at Poxmart. Which we get to by standing under the saucer. And I think it's square, right? Yeah, square. So, Poxmart. At Poxmart, you can purchase upgrades for your weapons and jetpack. Collect Furotex cells to buy upgrades at Poxmart. Alright. So, yeah, we've got the Zephomatic, we've got the jetpack, we've got the dislocator. Locked, 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 locked. And crypto shields. There you go, that's for the saucer itself. Um, no, no, that's for, that's for crypto itself. Himself, I should say, and then there is another one for uh, the saucer shields as well. So we can't really do much at the moment. We only have three. Oh, actually, the first one's... Well, that one we could do with four. Boost the capacitor. But, like I said, the best one I think to do first is to increase um, the boost of the jetpack, which requires 18 Furotech cells. Not quite there yet. Probably do that soon with a couple of missions. But... Um, Visit Holobox for your next mission. Yeah, 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 it's that, it's that hexagon right there. But we'll do that in the next episode. Uh, carry on with the story. Actually get into the story. Stop with the tutorials. Uh, who am I kidding? There'll be tutorials for a while yet. But um, yeah, until next time, thank you very much for watching. And goodbye.